All right, what's going on everyone? YouTube NES Ruler. So I did a, I started a new series about like three months ago doing my uh, DVD shelf by shelf collection. Uh, but since my movies switch so often that everything got fucked up and a lot of stuff that I would show in shelf three would repeat in shelf four because I moved it over and shit like that. So now I have absolutely no movies left to sort right now. So I figured I'd just get these all done right now. Um, we'll do each shelf as a part like before. And this should be a... Let's see, how many we got here? 3, 6, 9, 12, 15 part videos, or 15 part series. So let's get these, let's get started. Alright, got 7 Men From Now. This is a Bud Boddicker Western. Um, really good. Uh... One of Boddicker's best. Um, if you like Westerns, check it out. It's pretty good. Sorry if there's a glare. I apologize. It's sunny out. Uh, we got Four Dead Girls. This is put out by uh, Fishes Films. Haven't watched that one yet. We got A Hundred Bloody Acres. Um, this is a sort of like Motel Hell type of influence type film. We got 2359, put out by Magnet. Uh, this is a ghost film. I haven't watched that one yet. We got 237, put out by IFC. Uh, I haven't watched this one yet either, but I would assume maybe it would be an IFC Midnight if it would come out today. I don't know. I haven't watched it yet, so I'm not completely positive on that one, but 247 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, this movie's about four characters get locked in a sauna, and that's pretty much it. The entire movie takes place in a sauna. Talked about this a little bit when on the podcast. It's it's okay. It's not it's not the best film. Uh, three eighty eight Arlenta Avenue. This is a Tribeca film, which uh, if you guys haven't read my review on the facility uh, over at the Devil's Eyes, uh, go check it out. www.thedevilseyes.com. I should be one of the first. Uh, new post on there. I'd review the facility, which is a Tribeca film. But uh, it's a found footage film. Haven't watched it yet, though. Uh, this is Four Closed, home invasion film. Uh, put out by the Asylum. Um, has Jamie Kennedy in it, so who really knows about that one? Robert England in 976 Evil. Um, classic. 13 Aries, put up by uh, E1. It's a Canadian film, if I remember. Yep, Canadian film. Uh, this movie's really good. It's a good zombie monster type film. Uh, it has Catherine Isabel in it, which I didn't even notice until now. <laughs> but um, this is a really good film. Check it out. We have Five Girls with Ron Perlman. Um, I think somebody talked about this one. I don't know if it was JP or somebody, but... It, it's dirt cheap, so I, I picked it up. I haven't watched it yet, though. We have Seven Days put up by IFC. It's being an IFC Midnight today. If it came out today. Uh, I'm, this is going to be the next film that I review over at the Devil's Eyes, so stay tuned to that. Uh, this is an awesome French revenge film. Uh, if you guys like French Extreme, uh, check out this film. It's fucking brutal. It's so good. The acting in that is, is top-notch. It's Really fantastic. Uh, Six Degrees of Hell is put out by Fish's Films Breaking Glass. Uh, I haven't watched this one yet. It has Corey Feldman, but what I've heard from people that I've talked to, uh, it's fucking garbage. So, uh, for uh, All Night Horror Marathon, uh, Volume One, with Where the Matter, What's the Matter with Helen, The Fagrant, The Godsend, and The Outing. Uh, pick these up, support Scream Factory, so you get more of them. Because those sets are fucking gnarly, and they're cheap, and they're just great. Here we have Volume 2. Dungeon Master, Cellar Dweller, Contamination, Contamination 7, which I think is by... Uh, uh, oh no, Catacombs is the guy, is from the guy who did um, Crawl Space, and the guy looks like Klaus Kaczynski in it, which is funny. Uh, 444, Last Day on Earth, William Defoe, IFC... Uh, which would probably be considered IFC Midnight. 
uh, romantic, uh, post-apocalyptic film. Uh, 2001 Maniacs, uh, of course, Robert England. Uh, 13 Games of Death, Dimension Extreme. This film's, it's cool. Uh, can't remember where it was, what country it's from, but basically about this guy who has, who's broke, and he gets, uh, he gets sent to do these challenges, and each challenge gets worse and worse as it goes on and gets paid. It's pretty fucking good. Seven Nights of Darkness, uh, this is put out by Midnight Releases, which I don't unfortunately buy them anymore because they're usually crap found footage, you know, take place in a abandoned, uh, haunted house, whatever. Uh, 19 Doors, um, yeah, Green Apple Pictures, who, uh, puts out the legendary, uh, Beneath the Mississippi, and they put out, uh, the Family, which I'll talk about later on. But, um, I haven't watched that one yet, though. Band in Mind. This says, uh, Alexa Faga, who is the chick from Spy Kids and Machete Kills. I haven't watched this one either, but I'll have to get to it. It's a really interesting premise. We'll see. Absentia. Awesome film. Really good. Put out by Phase 4. Um, I just watched this one recently, actually. Um... It's pretty fucking solid. I really like that one. It was good. I don't know why some of these are in fucking bags. Fucking gotta get rid of them. Aces of Death put off by Lionsgate. I have no idea. Air Guitar Nation. This is a documentary about people who like to play air guitar. It's fucking strange. Uh, Apparitions put up by Image. Um, I think it's, it's a ghost film. About Cherry, IFC Midnight. I talked about that one in my IFC Midnight video. Uh, After Effects. Uh, I guess it's a zombie film. I have no idea. Aftershock. I have this on Blu-ray. I have no idea why I have the DVD as well. Um, yeah. Mm. It's, o it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, Alarm. I have seen Midnight Home Invasion film. Alien Blood put up by Troma. You know what you're going to get with that shot on video. Uh, Live or Dead put up by Lionsgate. Uh, I know JPSP said this movie's fucking terrible. So, um, it probably is. All the Boys Love Mandy Lane. Uh, you know, this movie's been talked about a lot. Uh, All Dark Places, uh, it's kind of funny, you know when there's only three and a half stars is like the top rating on your film, it's probably not very good, but we'll see. All Hallows Eve, it's my third favorite film from last year, it's such a fantastic fucking anthology. Uh, the second story is kind of amp, but the f last story makes up for it. Uh, I've, you know, I've... Talked about my love for this film quite a bit uh, last year. It's it's very fucking good. Check it out. I know it's coming out on Blu-ray soon, so I'm going to grab that. Uh, All the Love You Can Is. This is a trauma documentary. Alter Egos. This is from Smodcast Pictures, which is Kevin Smith's podcast. Uh, you know, podcast website. Put out by Phase 4 Films. Altitude, it's put out by Anchor Bay, plane, film, you know, plane go wrong. Type of movie, Alice Kills, uh, I've talked about this film a lot, it's, it's fucking awesome. <laughs> the Ambassadors, put out by Draft House, uh, which is Image, um, I think it's a spoof documentary or maybe in a documentary, I don't know, but these Draft House releases are really nice. <sighs> The Amazing Adventures of the Living Corpse, put out by Anchor Bay, it's an animated horror film. Uh, American Cannibal, this is another documentary. Uh, yeah, I don't know, I bought this one like when I first started collecting, so. American Ghost Story, put out by Breaking Glass, Fishes Films. Um, 
Guess it's a haunted house film again. American Mary, Soska Sisters. Talked about this one a lot last year as well. It's good. American movie, classic. Uh, if you guys want to make films, you gotta watch that. It's fucking amazing. American Screen King, put out by Midnight Releases. Uh, this is supposed to be one of the good, better ones, so... We'll see. American Splendor, uh, Paul Giamatti. It's, this film's really good. It's a fucking awesome drama. Um, MD Phil Dollhouse, out of print, pretty expensive. Um, yeah, it sucks. Major dick. MD Phil the next, a new generation also is terrible. Among Friends, Danielle Harris's uh, you know, directorial debut. Haven't watched that one yet, but Moods talked about it on the podcast. He said he didn't like it. Uh, Amusement. This one's fun. Uh, I think it's put out by Warner Brothers, so it's good. Angel Negro. Negro. Put out by Trauma. Obviously a Spanish film. Antisocial. Put out by Fish's Films. Uh, I know Moods talked about this one on the podcast. It's one that I'm going to check out soon. It's on my list. Antisocial behavior. This is really, really low budget. Shot on video, I would assume. Looks really bad. Antiviral and IFC Midnight. Uh, this was our first film that we talked about on the podcast. So, if you guys want to hear my thoughts, check that out. Apartment 143 found footage put out by Magnet. Uh, yeah. The Ape, Boris Karloff, you know what you're going to get. It's public domain, so... <sighs> Sorry. I'm tired already from holding up this camera. Harper Tridge, uh, Richard Jean Gear. Ugh, getting tired already. Um, yeah, I'm probably going to sell this one. I have no idea why I have it. Bought it a while ago. Area 407, just bought this one. I've seen Midnight. Uh, Argento's Dracula, also I've seen Midnight. It's crap. Of course. Arms, arm assist. I still don't know how you fucking pronounce this one. Uh, I talked about this one on the, uh, my last update, so uh, if you want to hear my thoughts on that one, it's over there. As nights fall, fishes films. Uh, I know Mood said this one isn't very good either. Silent blackout, IFC midnight. This one's not very good. Atrocious, Blood Disgusting Select, Spanish found footage film. Really, really fucking solid. Made my top five favorite found footage films. It's really good. Audrey Rose, MGM, uh, classic from 1977. Autopsy, uh, After Dark Horror Fest, Volume 3. Finally axed. We talked about this one on the podcast as well. It's not very good. So, that is my first shelf of... My DVD collection reboot, as I like to call it. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, please give it a thumbs up. Remember, you can read me, can read my uh, reviews over at the devilseyes.com. Put a link down below. I start talking to you guys very soon. We got 14 more shelves to go. Talk to you guys soon. Hope everyone has a good rest of their day. I start talking to you guys very soon. Talk to you guys in a bit.